Hey Arjun. Yeah. Now I can see you. There we go. <laughs> Sorry man. Perfect. I don't know what happened. Perfect. No, no, I'm my bad. I don't know. Uh, how are you? How are you? How are things? Very good man. Very good and you? I'm doing pretty good. Uh, you know, trying to be fit, uh, trying to maintain my fitness. So trying to help out my parents in uh, some housework as well, something new. What about you? How yeah. how's your uh, are you missing tennis? How's how's everything? Uh, definitely yes. I'm missing tennis and but I'm able to play tennis with Aryan uh, you know in my in my parking and then oh, uh, so not that much missing uh, but yeah enjoying with family same i guess with you how is your yeah. father father is doing great you know they are also happy uh, you know i'm here after a long time like for a, such a long period uh, at a stretch but now it's getting too much i think now they want me out <laughs> so <laughs> but tell me uh, something yeah. you you your father being a former national player you know and, and you have been together since last what uh, 45 or 50 days uh, how, how it like does it really help because he knows tennis and or or sometime you know he thinks that you know he knows better than you and then he tries to teach you or how is your relation going on and like so the the I must be fun right fact, yeah it is a lot of fun i must say and it definitely helps you know i am what i am because of him you know and uh, his teacher uh, taught me from day one so I have accepted the fact that he knows more tennis than me but uh, uh I think over the years we've learned how to ma- maintain a balance about you know tennis and how how much to talk about tennis at home it's not 24 the topic is not 24/7 so I guess it's a lot of fun when we do talk about it we obviously have some arguments which is pretty common I guess in a father and son uh, and mm-hmm. a coach relationship but uh, I'm really lucky I must say because he's uh, Uh, you know he likes to stay fit as well so in this time he is uh, kind of motivating me and he is really fit motivated. he is really fit yeah so that kind of helps even yeah. you and i mean you do exercise together. together yeah we do we do we try to i mean uh, he's he's um, he makes sure that he also works out every single day so which is great mm-hmm. super so man. just say just say hello to him whenever you yes definitely definitely mm-hmm. and yeah, uh, yeah. So I have a few questions let's get started uh, because we have limited time today and I have a pl- lot of questions from uh, you know some of the famous reporters you uh, probably have encountered before so in general mm. just uh, first I would like to start with you know how's the journey been uh, being the director uh, like tournament director of the Tata Open and it's you know had like 3 years already now so how can you how will you describe the journey so far Well Arjun actually you know uh, we were very lucky enough uh, to retain this tournament in India because you know this okay. uh, tournament was likely yeah. to go out of India and uh, uh, and also and retain in the uh, city known as capital of tennis in Pune uh, yeah. and that's a, one of the you know we would say that uh, good achievement from the state lawn tennis association uh, and for that i would really thank uh, the uh, secretary sundarayar bratoza and the government of maharashtra Uh, uh officers and of course imgr and now over the years you know uh, we have uh, able to keep that legacy of 25 years of uh, successfully running this tournament and uh, you yeah. know attracting uh, all top star players uh, uh, every year and uh, like this year you must be knowing that this was like remarkable year for indians because close to 11 uh, yeah. uh, players plays in the uh, tour event i think exactly. what else one can expect uh, out of this tour event uh, you know and that that was the main objective of you know having this tournament here yeah. and uh, retaining the tournament pune so so you know we are happy and uh, i'm sure we will uh, over the years like you know we'll keep this uh, momentum uh, going and uh, make this tournament up to the next level every year i'm sure i'm yeah. sure i'm yeah. sure so what was what was your uh, you know uh, uh, what do you describe uh, you or indian playing in this tournament arjun sorry i'm asking you because we have just you know talking about no, tata no. open as a as a yeah, i mean player. for me i first of all need to thank you and uh, you know like all of the people who trusted in me to you know and gave me the wild card and the opportunity to play at this level and uh, i i can mm. speak for all the indians it is great to have uh, you know such a big tournament in india first of all because uh, you know it gives us the chance to you know r- like really show our potential and get that experience whereas uh, mm-hmm. you know like we have like uh, prajnesh and sumit now uh, like uh, around 100 but apart from that you know not uh, like so many wouldn't have gotten in in the 250 otherwise but you, as you said 11 players you mm-hmm. know in the main draw and uh, so i think it is great i i mean uh, really like thank you and uh, you know i hope 
uh, we make the most of this opportunity and um, you know i think indian tennis is moving in the right direction like uh, people are getting more and more confidence and you know what it has done for me is it has taught me like uh, like for example i played jerry wesley the first round over here and he went, went up uh, like ended up winning the tournament so for me it was you know like wow if he can win the tournament if i work hard and if if i keep improving you know it's it's not too far away and this yeah, that's uh, true. sense of belief ha- will only come when you experience a certain level of tennis so uh, i'm really thankful to all of you uh, sundar sir you and you know like for giving us the opportunity to you know uh, experience that level and giving us the confidence that we can do well yeah and you know you i think you have legacy of playing the uh, playing against the winner uh, always like you know you <laughs> yeah, yeah that's, you, that's, i remember still yeah. your match on second court court number second i think the double yeah. match where you beat the top seed or uh, you know or second seed oh, and yeah, then you was... they they that you lost with the third uh, you know on the third uh, and they happened to win the tournament also with yeah. uh, benwa pair you were like uh, you were like almost there and then uh, you know you know what happens even this the match was yeah, already in your pocket it was very close it was very close it was very that close that was with yeah. you and rohan yeah. i mean tennis yeah. is yeah. such a so sport hopefully like this will get uh, sorry go yeah hopefully you will and uh, one day you will be uh, you know tata open champion i i really hope so and uh, you know i really hope so it's the um, those little margins and it will come it will turn i hope uh, some day soon so um, anyways thanks for being with us and uh, you know we have so how yeah. do you think this uh, pandemic is going to affect the future of tata open like going forward what do you what are your thoughts on the whole situation now and you know just the atp uh, calendar what's happening like the delays uh, you know possibly it might get even further uh, you know uh, like mm-hmm. maybe till august so what are your thoughts on it no see arjun the the uh, the pandemic is not only related to tata open i guess i mean each and every no, yeah. except the uh, sn the masters everyone is going to be uh, affected by this uh, uh, by this pandemic uh, mainly you know uh, everybody is saying that uh, wait for the vaccine wait for the vaccine but i don't mm-hmm. think the vaccine will be uh, you know coming w- closely into like 7 or 9 months probably so till then mm-hmm. if you want to continue the calendar uh i think uh, there are many questions from uh, you will have to uh, you know uh, uh, redone the uh, redefine the entire uh, sops for conducting a tournament right from the you know medical requirements uh, you you know like you have to uh, take out the gym you have to do the outdoor catering then you have to uh, look up the transportation yes, the hotel and and just imagine uh, yeah the, still we don't know the what are the government uh, policies on foreign travelers so okay. uh, we, you, you know just firing in the air right now and imagine like uh, tennis uh, like for for pune open uh, players from probably 40 of 30 countries uh, will yeah. come to play this event right from officiating umpires players and they will be exposed to maybe other countries earlier so exactly. during the tournament yeah. just imagine uh, someone someone is having a symptom of uh, you know uh, covid what will you do uh, you going to shut down the entire event at what cost That's... you know so all this uh, are unanswered as of now so the best thing is to you know uh, wait till uh, you know like couple of more months and then uh, we we see but at the same time you know atp and players i'm sure atp and players still must be working on a plan to how you know how to uh, cut down the uh, uh, operational cost for the events uh, you know as like i'm sure okay. they must be working on something as as, lo- as long as that it is a win win situation for all both players and uh, yeah. and the organizers but uh, not uh, surely yeah. yeah we have to wait uh, yeah. till everything yeah, gets even I'm, you know i'm pretty sure they'll have yeah. to figure something out because you know this can't be uh, i mean you have to again you have to wait and watch because this is happening like slowly slowly in different countries so you can't and tennis is such a international sport that we can't just start in one area and keep the other area kind of you know don't play the tournaments you can't do that so let's hope for the best uh, but, exactly uh, yeah one of our pune uh, reporters uh, kumar swami ji from times of india has a question like uh, what has been your uh, atp's communication with you regarding the 20- 2021 calendar in general well uh, yeah 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 kumar like see we have been communicating with atp uh, on regular intervals but uh, you know so far uh, their priorities are uh, on the slams on the masters uh, 
ATP Cup and Lever Cup. Obviously, keeping the players in mind, and it is but obvious. So uh, you know, the, once they does that, probably they will come up with a fresh calendar. So far, we have okay. received a draft calendar till August, and we are expecting uh, the next calendar by you know next week. But uh, till then, we have to wait and watch uh, about what. Is, but I think personally, we are going to hit a little bit. You know, the Pune Open might hit a little further. Uh, this is what my gut feeling. Yeah. Okay. 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 Awesome. Awesome. And uh, I think one more question from Indian Tennis Daily. What is your like? Uh, you mentioned the Tata Open is fully backed with sponsors till 2022. You know that uh, has that changed? Or is the situation you know affecting that? And uh, just in general, any you know any ideas about that going forward? Well, Arjun, as I said, uh, the uh, situation with not only Tata Open but uh, all the tournaments except. If the Grand Slam and Masters are going to, you know, have cut down on this, yeah, because uh, mainly, you know, they are going to have uh, the ticket sale is going to be uh, reduced drastically. The international TV rights uh, will be negotiated again. The sponsor would like to wait and see uh, how they are they will be doing in in the coming years. But uh, you know, yeah. it's uh, it's really tough time. But for us, fortunately, uh, we have a strong support from the government of Maharashtra as well as from Tata's. Uh, mm. so probably we should be able to get through uh, smoothly but at any given point of time uh, we will not like to do anything which is against the protocol of the local government uh, yeah. for the covid uh, nothing okay. comes uh, uh, first than nation nation is always an first priority so we'll have to wait and watch for their guidelines if everything goes smooth we sh- we have no issues you know uh, continuing with the tournament in 2021 that's that's really good to hear i think uh, kamesh sir also had the same question i guess your answer yeah. will be you pretty well answered it all over here and uh, so i have a question um, again like so when you travel for uh, because you're the tournament director for the atp when you travel uh, you know abroad for those meetings what is, uh, is has there been any mm. like a big eye opener for you in those meetings like regarding anything or anything you you know took away which was like surprising in those uh, from those meetings yeah uh, you know we have been every year there is a, uh, wimbledon there is an annual tds meeting then uh, monte carlo they have a tds meeting so all the mostly grand slam they have tds meeting what i could observe arjun like you know uh, everyone all the tds have given equal opportunity to express their view equal respect not like you know he is a grand slam uh, td and he has different uh, uh, you know vip treatment or no all the tds are equal and that's very good about uh, atp like you know all we all sit, sit together and express our views they listen to 250s they listen to 500s so that's one thing yeah. and second thing is uh, you know the uh, atp always hmm. most of the time their discussion discussion is about how to benefit the player and mostly the lower rank player you know how to okay. improve the standard wow. of challengers how to take all the tournament to uh, up to the certain standards you know how to increase the prize money so uh, of course i mean along with that they also keep suggesting us that you know how to efficiently do the event so that, that the more and more player get benefited out of this so this is uh, very very interesting when i when i see this uh, 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 attend this meeting and secondly you know atp uh, one thing they have so so uh, particular about the players and public safety 25 pages booklet only for security which itself says that how uh, like want they want down to make sure that nothing is lapsed in the player security public security so couple of things really you know uh, it always uh, uh, l- learning process when we attend those meetings yeah. that's that's a really that's a really good answer yeah. i must say and uh, yeah as you like have uh, aadhar pune wala tennis uh, academy as well and uh, you know it's a it's a initiated by the mm. maharashtra tennis foundation could you tell us a little bit about mm-hmm. the ideas your goals uh, with the academy and what what's it all about in the bigger picture yeah arjun uh, you were a part of it i think i guess uh, couple yes. of so uh, yes, uh, yes. you know the uh, the uh, maha tennis foundation is an initiative of atp uh, tennis tournament the you know taking only the atp event in pune or in maharashtra will not uh, be of any help alone so right. we have decided along with the uh, msltt uh, representatives me everybody decided that we should have something a solid uh, plan to develop tennis in the district places 
along with okay. the metro cities metro cities you know we already have lot of tennis going on since years together you know yes. uh, there are a lot of good coaches available in uh, all the metros so our main focus is to you know increase the footfall of uh, tennis uh, players by 3x 4x in coming 5 years give them oh. the uh, same try and give them the quality tennis uh, lessons at the district levels and uh, we also have started the academy in pune we have a academy where we have 200 players playing with uh, professional trainers we have a yes, very good yes. trainer from uh, you know serbia he is a he is a, a, a former yeah. national coach uh, of serbia uh, so we have a, a event uh, academy going on in pune where we want to get all the players from the district Uh, uh we will make sure that they will be taken care of everything including the stay food free coaching oh. all top players from district will be free of that, cost and amazing. we are also giving yeah we are also giving scholarships uh for the players who are you know doing yes. well uh, and uh, uh, so this is the overall plan we, we have this in committee we have abhishek also you know abhishek tamani is there yes. sudhir ayer is there yes. then we yes. have few bureaucrats from there so yeah and uh, we are fortunate that uh, uh, other is uh, you know initiated this uh, as a main uh, title sponsor and uh, down the line i think we are going to go uh, very strongly with this uh, other punawala academy and martin is yes. foundation yeah i think i think the the you know the direction which is uh, it is heading it looks fantastic and the main purpose is like you know uh, the f- building a foundation from the grassroots i think that's very uh, you know exciting and something to look forward for because i'm sure we have a lot of talent you know around the districts you must have also seen like not only in metro cities but the even the kids who have not heard of tennis probably at a very young age but if you get them to play i think they, they some of them will turn out really superb so that's really exciting absolutely thing, exciting man i mean the talent is there yeah. arjun yeah talent is there the talent is there in the district yeah. places now see the the uh, the initiative sundar has taken with the eklavya scheme you know yeah. they have such a tremendous talent i mean you will not believe so we'll have to find these talents uh, so we are also planning a high performance tennis academy the msld is planning a high performance tennis academy in coming months with the mar tennis foundation so there is a big uh, broader picture uh, we are working on and i'm sure down the road this will go along. long way and you will see you will witness it that's that's really cool okay so uh, for everyone over here uh, you know those yes. were kind of the set of questions we had uh, but i have a surprise in store uh, i'm going to go like if you if you want to ask me any more questions we can uh, take try and take couple of questions and then we are going to end it with the rapid fire i'm going to ask him five questions which i prepared for he doesn't uh, and he has to be uh, you know very prompt spontaneous and uh, we'll try and get a answer out of him out of those questions so even i have a, even has. a couple of questions uh, arjun rapid fire yeah. question even i have couple of them <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, i didn't know that but yeah you can start and we can take maybe one be ready from uh, the audience yeah go for it then till then we can see uh, if anyone has a question from the audience and then uh, i go with mine go for it i'll i'll i'm ready so do you question. want me to start yes yeah You want me to start? <laughs> yes, sir. All right. So, uh, first question. Are you prepared for them? Uh, wow. Yeah, of course. What do you think, man? Uh, <laughs> easy to date a Indian girl or a foreigner? Indian. Come on. Indian. Oh, super. Uh, like to train in India or in abroad? uh like to train in india but the problem is uh, we don't have no just I, just I just have, just this in at home at home at home at, at home, home in, in india, india. Pune. pune yeah okay uh jk as a father or as a coach as a father any day as a father as a father <laughs> singles or doubles what is your preference as of now singles or oh, there is a there is a, a there is a question from uh, somebody vikas kondu please confirm about eklavya scheme so, uh, so you, you know the ek yeah so eklavya scheme as sundar explained in his last uh, uh, last uh, conversation like uh, this is a scheme uh, initiated by the lawn tennis association the maharashtra state lawn tennis association with the tribal tribal development so where they selected uh, tribal kids with the age of 18 and uh, plus and uh, you know we had center in nagpur so we had a 
we 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 taught them on the tennis officiating tennis coaching you know first batch was like 60 players uh, 40 players from the uh, very rural areas have joined that scheme and you will not believe they were not knowing what is tennis they were never seen tennis rackets some of yeah. them came without shoes uh, so and wow. then we trained them for a year you know hemant was the uh, main instructor there manoj white the hemant and uh, you know uh, so now uh, we have 40 batches passed out and now everybody is you know uh, doing great they have jobs everywhere all india so um, uh, you know now the next batch is also passed out so they are also uh, working everywhere some of them have gone to uh, hyderabad some of them are working in mslt some have gone to chandigarh so uh, out of nowhere they all are doing well now so this is a eklavya scheme which is an initiative by the maharashtra state lawn tennis association oh that's awesome arjun there is a question from you for you please uh, give us some please, advice uh, about advice. us college uh yes i would say like uh, you know when i went to us college it was a tough decision for me because uh, you know i had a sponsor back then and i was doing well in juniors um but uh, i i i went there i committed to you know i went there and my mindset was to let's see uh, for 6 months if i like it i'll stay if I, if not you know i'll give it my best shot and come back but it turned out the best decision of my life i think uh, and i think all the uh guys who are you know like really looking forward to uh, playing professional after their juniors they should really consider it because the level is very high and if you get a good college you should try and get into like a top 10 top 15 college i mean in division 1 i feel like all 20 25 uh, the top 25 teams have amazing teams and um, you know the level is very high and i think if you look at it in a Uh, right way with a long term plan that you want to use it as a stepping stone to uh, you know play professional after like somdev did like uh, you know sanam or uh, sake did i think that's uh, that's a i would really um, you know uh, like want more and more players to think consider it and really use that opportunity to get your education first free if you get a sp- uh, scholarship and uh, the education is fantastic you know at the highest level and then the facilities there are world class so i mean there are a lot of positives um, i mean for girls it's a bit different because uh, you know i think if they are making the fed cup team right away and mm-hmm. you know they they mature a bit earlier than guys i would say so uh, they really have to i think it's fantastic for both either way but uh, you know they should really consider it arjun you have a couple of more questions uh, i guess uh, so uh... do you want to go okay. with them uh, there is one question uh, arjun so who has been your the best doubles partner till date and would you be dream doubles partner okay so till date uh, best double doubles partner i would say i would say rohan or benwa it's it's a, it's a tie but uh, because <laughs> i played with the top top two guys who i've played with uh, i mean it's different rohan is kind of intense benwa is just i mean some unbelievable shots coming out of uh, nowhere so it's always fun to play with uh, with uh, was was fun to play with both of them and my dream doubles partner uh, i would have i would love to play with jack sock uh, i really uh, like the way he plays is just brutal and uh, you know it, it would be a it would be a dream to play with him if yeah, i but uh, bo- arjun both of them uh, did not try the second round unfortunately yeah, that's that's why my Very dream close. dream doubles partner is different <laughs> it's, it's not my dream <laughs> doubles partner <laughs> prashant is asking you question what's your thought on fitness routine the indian tennis community does at 5 pm every day oh i think it's a great uh, yeah so basically me uh, rohan uh, ram and sanya and so many like there are almost like 45 uh, like purav has joined now vishnu uh, manish like so many uh, guys have joined the co workout we have started it like almost a month and a half or two months ago almost i don't even remember for a long long time and it uh, like it's i think it's an amazing initiative because you know you get to see all the youngsters come in and the motivation is super high so uh, i think it's a great way to keep yourself uh, motivated for every single day and even push like we really push each other uh, you know for the planks and uh, everything we do so i think it's a great way to uh, you know uh, interact with all of your uh, community uh, friends and then 
push each other and like improve at the same time so do you want to start with my are you ready for my rapid fire questions prashant sir no 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 i have a couple of more questions sir you uh, okay, not okay. going to go i'm not going to lose that easily <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, one suggestion you want to give for tata open um uh, one suggestion i would give for tata open is I am not thinking I don't know it's it's pretty good I think it's one of the best tournaments I've played but I would like to say um I mean give a little more like uh, like probably school kids or someone like we can do a little more of uh, like in the audience you know like we did the first year and the second year like to see a lot of sc- school kids you know coming out and watching the matches that i feel is amazing they love they love watching it so we really cool if we can you know add a little more to that all right but we'll take, overall we'll like definitely take fantastic. care of this uh, fantastic yeah thanks uh what would like to uh uh want msld and ait to do for the players i think they are doing a good job but uh, you know uh if in the future they have uh, you know they start a camp where you know the top guys can come and train like the pre season or uh, you know like something of that sort when uh, where people you know the biggest problem i face is uh, uh, to have like someone better than me to train with every single day in pune so if they can manage that at least for two weeks or you know three weeks in a year where we can go and train all the great guys coming together and training uh, you know and then it's always good to have uh, you know all the top indian guys to come and train together so i think that's one thing which is missing uh, which i see at like the uh, which which can be done very easily if they can conduct like a 10 day camp uh, you know like a pre season with uh, arranging a nice fitness trainer uh, you know all the facilities i think that will be really cool tukon basra has asked question uh, would you would pune consider an indian league or a local tournament if borders don't open up like already happening in the us and europe uh, well actually uh, uh, you know this is a good question and uh, i strongly believe the you know uh, prime minister modi recently said that atmanirbhar bharat that means this is the same thing you know we should have our own local circuit you know we should not i mean there is no need our playing situation where there is a risk there is going to be uh, uh, you know even travel is not going to be that easy so the best thing uh, and i am sure mslt and ait must be thinking on those lines to have more and more uh, local tournaments more and more yeah. state level tournaments uh, more its more challengers in india uh, sure it is possible and uh, definitely we will consider this now uh, so i think let's wait and watch before we really sit together and uh, start uh, implementing this Oh, yes i think so arjun sorry go ahead yeah two, yeah two more questions uh, yeah, yeah 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 rohan or lee as a partner oh uh, i haven't played with lee so i would have to go with rohan but it would be amazing to play with lee some day okay uh, and uh, father or mother who would you prefer to partner you with the tournament to Father travel with you. Oh, um, you know, like he's been around and he can help me more during the tournaments regarding solely because we can play tennis, we gel up so well. So definitely that. All right. So uh, very well done, uh, Arjun. Uh, you never, uh, I thought you will struggle somewhere, but uh, well done. Yeah. You deserve a coffee. Those, those, we those meet next time. Definitely, those are a few <laughs> tough questions there. And now, if I go out now, if they're, they're listening, so now I'm going to get some. Uh, they're listening. <laughs> uh, definitely. Yeah, some yeah, more. yeah. You want to have it? Um, okay. Now let's go for my rapid fire questions. Uh, so I have, I have five questions for you. Not too many, but uh, let's start. Are yeah. Yeah. do you think you require uh, uh, you think i don't think you will require a wild card in coming ev- event right in the singles wild card is... <laughs> i don't <Yeah>. know <laughs> yeah so you know so be careful with the questions 
yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, this is this is all for fun. I'm just uh, putting it yeah. out there. So, okay. <laughs> uh the here we go so the first one is if you had the option to pick one of these players to come and play tata open next year who would mm-hmm. rafael nadal or roger federer only one you have to pick one of those who would you pick uh you say we share again three 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 like roger rafael and uh, novak if you if you had a ch- option to pick one of yeah. those players to come and play uh, in pune who would you go for mm mm-hmm. you still you still want me to answer uh, looking at my t-shirt i still yeah i will mean, go for it yeah so i'll go with the world number 1 whoever is the world number 1 i'll call him oh wow 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 no le wow okay interesting uh, <laughs> do you think he's he's uh, this is not a question this is just a follow up thing do you think he is the most loved guy in tennis like he has the most uh, biggest fan base do you think so to be very honest he's he's a nice person uh, i feel okay. i met him couple of time personally you know he's really okay. nice he tries to uh, help the players uh, on the circuit so uh, well i like him and uh, to be uh, you know the you don't have the option none of them otherwise yeah. i would have gone with none of them because you know we don't we want local heroes we want some new heroes to come up and oh, wow. uh, you know okay. we have these three uh, because yeah so i would prefer to go with someone like you know really yeah Okay uh so my second question is uh who would you pick as your preferred doubles partner between out of these two is one is Rohan Bopanna and other is Leander Pace who would you pick as your doubles partner uh my doubles partner as you know uh, we have been we played couple of uh, times the practice session that I play from the ad court so probably I will go with Lee <laughs> Oh wow <laughs> that was interesting uh okay my third question is uh you know if not if you were if you were not uh, if you weren't a businessman what would you have been like what was uh, your second dream wow, or option difficult i had uh, i had, had no knowledge about uh, anything except tennis coaching so probably i would have been a uh, tennis coach and who you knows i would have uh, you know teaching you oh wow it's interesting very interesting okay this yeah. is on the, uh, the, the, the yeah the yeah. the fourth uh, the fourth question is see uh, you've been the tournament director for 3 years now so what is one of the biggest challenge you faced as a tournament director for this tournament what is one of the biggest challenge uh, you faced right away biggest challenge to uh, for the initial days to uh, to uh, attract the the crowd for the initial oh. first 3 days yeah okay this, this is like every year days. or the you're talking about the first year yeah. no it is like you know every year it's okay. not in pune but you know if you see globally it is first 3 4 days like bit it's, you know okay. shaky yeah. yeah yeah so yeah. we have yeah. to you rightly said we have to involve the, the the schools and school children and we should do some program so that's the biggest challenge uh, we face mm. but uh, i think because the rest I, all you know we have a great team exactly we have a great team like you know we have sundar we have abhishek we have all the uh, you know they take care of the most of the things uh, and from yes. the other side uh, you know i take care of them so no issues so except these um, the final probably next ones for you and like you play league every year so can you tell me i lost you arjun i lost you arjun i lost you no no i i know i know I know you. What did you say? Now. What What did you say? Uh, I know you play the inter club league every year. So who do you play? Yeah. Who do you say is your best partner till date? You have to name one. Wow! From uh, from the great uh, PYC group. Yeah, the the club league. Yes. Club league. Uh, I would. Uh, shall I Shall I name two players? One. You have to go. One. I think. Uh, Kedar. Kedar. Kedar oh, Shah. Wow. Okay, that's a good answer. Yeah, yeah. that's a good answer. Yeah, <laughs> that's awesome. Yes. But uh, thanks for doing this. Uh, this is these were the all you know all all what I had and uh, you answered them very well, very quickly. And um, thanks for doing this with me. I had a lot of fun. Uh, you know, yes. hosting you here and also shout out to Indian Tennis Daily. It was uh, amazing. Uh, you know, uh, experience for me to. Uh, do this on their platform so 
thanks thanks yes. everyone again and thanks to indian daily uh, indian tennis uh, tennis daily you are doing amazing keeping all the updates uh, with the tennis uh, lovers and then yeah. you know keep doing it uh, and uh, thanks uh, tata open maharashtra digital team fantastic job and uh, stay safe uh, we are going to get back rockingly in coming 6 months so let's catch up again thank you thank you prashant thank you sir bye